As the digital technology space and manufacturing continues to grow, manufacturers have more and more platforms at their fingertips to run operations. While this is good, a lot of manufacturers have already invested heavily in homegrown systems, maybe a commercial off-the-shelf MES, and are now looking at things like IoT platforms and are left asking themselves questions like, do I really need an MES? Can I extend what I have? Where do I draw the line? Can we use this IoT platform instead and just run with it? As a system integrator serving enterprise businesses, we hear these questions all the time from my customer base. And although not black and white, there is an answer and an approach that we take to help our customers define which direction to go and where to invest the time, effort, and money. When starting these discussions, we focus on three key questions. What are the business challenges you're trying to solve as number one? Are you looking to consolidate systems after acquisition, i.e. reducing costs? Are you looking to pivot off a legacy platform nearing the end of life, i.e. to ensure stability? Are you looking to optimize production, improve quality, or comply with regulatory or customer demands? These are important things to know before a direction is set. Number two, what functions are you looking to address to achieve some of these business goals? Functions like track and trace, order execution, visibility into work in progress, OEE, scheduling, genealogy, all likely important functions that differ in terms of impact from customer to customer. This is key to define before you take it one level deeper, which we'll get to in a second. Lastly, it's important to understand what's currently in the landscape. When you're trying to get value quickly without spending a lot of money, part of that is leveraging what you already have. But you want to ensure you accomplish this without stretching things in unnatural places. Exploring these three key pieces should provide some initial level setting and direction. Now comes the fun part. How do you decide what functions live in MES or your homegrown application and what should live in new tools? Unfortunately, there's no black and white answer or hard line delineating the two. First, the way we typically think of functions is in three main buckets. Number one being data collection, things like OEE and SPC. The second, process functions. These are things like order execution, quality checks, and scheduling of things like orders and assets. And lastly, relationship or historical functions. These are things like product genealogy, taking a finished good and knowing every item that went into that product back to the raw material and inventory tracking. Not an exhaustive list, but thinking of functions this way should help lay out things in terms of complexity. Now, both MES and IoT platforms can perform these actions across the board, and we have examples to prove it. But as you move from data collection to more relationship and historical functions, or from left to right, or former to latter, typically the needs become more complex. It's important to explore in each of these functional areas, whether your production requirements are simple or complex. Where do they sit on the scale? If your production process requires only a single level of genealogy, i.e. you have a set number of pieces going into a product which can be clearly traced, it's pretty simple and may not require a full MES if that's the direction you're going. Once you get into the multi-layered genealogy needs, things start to become more complex, likely too complex for something other than an MES. Remember, MES platforms have complex configurable data models already built to handle this. When it comes down to it, complexity of business requirements is really a key criteria for helping delineate the line between what lives in current systems like MES or homegrown applications and what can live in new tools like an IoT platform. This is, among others, a good reason to involve a system integrator in the conversation. A system integrator who is vendor neutral can help understand the true requirements and complexity and help map that to the right platform or systems. Making sure whatever direction is selected is going to leverage and complement what you already have and also support where you want to go in the future. So the MES versus IoT question we hear all the time really becomes more of a build versus buy versus wrap and extend conversation. We found this approach to make the most sense to ensure our customers make the right choice when assessing manufacturing technologies. As a system integrator with 30 plus years experience in the real time digital manufacturing space, we have plenty of examples that we'd be happy to share. If you're interested in learning more about the build versus buy versus wrap and extend debate, feel free to reach out and we'd be happy to share our perspectives with some real world examples.